All right. We are coming up, I wouldn't call it the big finish, because in reality, on a project like a cul-de-sac or any kind of interface, you actually have to design the intersection. The program tends to explode a little bit on that, even though it's great intersection wizard. The reality would be you would have to now go back to look at the design of the super highway to extend it out and then figure out where your match points are. So we'll leave that for now and just go to the visualization and how you suck um, information out to a neutral format. You already know and I've already taken you where we're going to eventually go to the create the view frames, but we, what you already know, I hope, that in fact you can measure managed surfaces and export objects for them. And all you really need to do is you need to export the surfaces that are um, the top surfaces. So you might want to get those laid out, right click, surface properties, you might want to get those laid out in some sort of triangles and I'll put them on two different levels or two different layer layers so we can manage them later easily they could be on the same same thing here we're going to surface properties we're going to put that not on no display but on marsh triangles I guess and we can then finally go ahead for Tyler Civil and change its surface properties to be existing triangles so getting them all kind of that's a little overwhelming but we'll leave it there let's put Tyler surface not in existing triangles let's try to do it something different let's put them in uh, pretty dense contours I guess that'll work apply okay and now we've got basic contour bits so what we're now gonna do is we're gonna more or less extract objects from each of those three, isolate them, right block, making sure to tr check that we put a line out there on the bottom left in the order of, for this project, 2,200,000 and then up from zero to 2,000 feet. Just so when you go to other programs, you have some good vertical line in which to kind of establish your datum. It's easier to grab when you're working in 3D space. So what is the process? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to remember that it's probably first an important thing to make sure that our layer, layer ISO settings are set. Our isolate layer settings are set so it's off. We want that to be not lock and paid, but off. It's a little bit easier to do if it is off. And now you're going to go and select each individual surface. You're going to extract your objects. You just need the triangles. Hit OK, and it will have extracted that. You're going to do it again. You select on a different surface now. You want to do one at a time. Click over here, extract objects. This one, it's just getting the triangles. Hit OK. And then escape, escape. And this one here, you're going to extract objects. And we just want basically the minor and the major to contours. And you're going to hit OK. In that, you have now isolated data and you really what you want now is that information you can look at them and list them and you basically have polyline data and 3d face data so you can start to do things like this now you can more or less start freezing layers if you want so it'd be a good idea sometimes to just go ahead and start freezing layers out that you don't need not going too far and you get to a point where you're kind of, you can see you're kind of in that realm of where you have what you need, but all you really want are the 3D faces and the polylines. So you can now remember that great W block or block command. You're going to, at this point, I'm going to put this in, the, I don't want to lose this one, I'm going to put it up in C temp. Remember it's an 04 and this is going to be a cul-de-sac export. So we can start doing points get a save here you can do the quick select now so now you want to do the entire drawing you actually want what would be called polylines append to the current selection set hit there that should grab a whole lot you can now grab what you would want and this is indeed 3d faces and hit OK 
In reality, I have yet to put a line in there, so I'm going to make sure I hit a cancel here. But I've got 3D lines, 3D faces, and poly lines. I'm going to hit a cancel here and cancel. I'm going to put a line now so I do not lose it on a layer. I guess in Z constraints is fine. Line from 2 million, comma 200,000, comma 0, at 2,000. Angle 0, angle 90, that goes straight up. Get used to doing lots of that stuff, and now we can grab that line as well. So if we knew, now do our what we were anticipating doing a second ago, and that is what? W block. Know where you're putting it. Give it a reasonable name. It should be down under your project. I'm putting it down in C temp, and I am calling it cul-de-sac. cul-de-sac visualization. It paired with your point files will give you the ability to run cars and visualize site distancing, stopping site distances, uh, intersections, the like. So we're going to hit save here. Remember quick select is worth learning to use on a regular basis. We want the polylines append. You're going to continue with the 3D faces. Append, and now in the end you can continue with the lines I think you can actually send out the whole project and it will reasonably work probably grab more than I want to it's going there I hit OK in the realization that if it, I get an error message it's, there's a good chance that I've sent too much stuff out and I want to go back into AutoCAD and do one more W block you can say OK there it sends it out hopefully it's everything you need you can have done a bunch of undos you really this is another one you would have done hopefully and then just quit out of you would like to not have all those extra surface all those extra triangles floating around but once again you could then do a quick select and grab all the 3d faces if you have not made your existing surface from 3d faces and you should be good to go we will try that last bit in one fell swoop here if this works. Okay, if I grab here, it looks like that one's cleared out and that one's cleared out. It's a good idea to leave your project in a view that makes sense. And so hit File, Save, and you're good to go. We'll try the import just so you can see it. If you do everything right, it'll import right the first time. We're going to close that out. Again, you have to have SketchUp. The old version has a free importer. The newer versions, you have to have paid the paid version to get the importer. So, going into SketchUp, like all programs, the first thing you do is you check that your model is set correctly. What happens in SketchUp is it does shift the coordinate system, which is why you put that line at some knowledgeable point. So you go into this program, it doesn't like it. I'm going to try it one more time, but I'm going to have to defer to the other video. You basically just do an import and it should work. I don't want to lose this capture, so I'm going to sign off here and let you know what's left is cutting sheets will be covered in the last of this series.